Well, a few months ago, I came up with this idea of uh, setting up a new sugar bush. I ran lines, uh, 130 trees, and it all came down to this collection point, which I've mentioned a few times. And then over the course of the winter, I spent, well, I kind of figured out, tried to figure out how I wanted the collection point to work and how to set it up. And hopefully in the spring, uh, we would come out here and hook it up and uh, it would work. So I've just completed um, installing the uh, collection point. Um, I'm, fingers crossed, um, unless un something un unforeseen has happened, um, I'm all set up to start uh, pulling syrup down here. I have a little bit to do up at the sugar shack in order to connect up the electricity, number one, and the transfer line. And then we're ready to start gathering sap and having it pumped up to the uh, sugar shack. And uh, <laughs> with any luck, it'll all work. So I'll give you a little tour of... Um, the collection point here. So here's the uh, uh, brains behind the collection point. And if you saw an earlier video of mine, uh, I showed you how it worked. I was testing it out in the uh, in the uh, laundry room at home, had uh, the pumps running and everything. So we basically again have two sides of it. Well, let's start off with the controller. Um, this is what controls the vacuum which is controlled by this side of the pump. Uh, there's a vacuum gauge up there so we can see what the vacuum is. There's a line here that goes down into the controller that also records the vacuum. So the controller knows what the vacuum's like. Uh, the sap comes in up here, flows down to this tube, and when the vacuum's running, it will run along this tube down here into the tank. And uh, the controller will control whether the pump's running or not based on the temperature and a few other factors. And uh, when it's not running, then this valve will open up so that if there is any sap that's coming down, it will just go straight down and go into the tank. So that's the collection part of the system. Now, on this tank, there are, in orange, there are two sensors. There's a low sensor and a high sensor. And when the sap gets up to the high sensor, then the controller will turn on this pump here. It will pump up the sap in through the filter and the pump and then go out the back side, which we'll show you in a second, is connected to the transfer line. Um, and once it's done with, then uh, let me go back here. Once it gets down to the bottom sensor, then that will shut the uh, pump off. And then what the pump will do is while it's pumping, this normally open switch will close. And then once the pump stops, then this switch will open up. And then whatever's in the line going up to the sugar shack will drain back down into the tank. And that'll keep the line free and keep it from freezing. So let's go around to the other side and show you how it's connected up both to the uh, trees and uh, to the transfer line. So you can see we have green lines which brings the sap down to the transfer, to the uh, collection station. That goes up into the woods. And uh, thankfully, you're, uh, we're fighting with the sun because the sun makes it really nice here. And then we have this black line, and that's going up to the sugar shack. Also included in the black line is my long extension cord, which I spent a few days running and getting put up. We come down here to the back of the collection station and we'll start off with the 
sap lines. The sap lines go into connectors in the back of the transfer, the uh, collection station. We have uh, them at, uh, terminated here. A little short hose goes in. And that's how the sap is all collected in here. And then we have a, a tubing that comes out of the collection station, goes up, and this is what will transfer the sap back up to the sugar shack. So now we wait. Um, the next thing to do is to get the trees tapped. And then we need some uh, nice weather, uh, preferably days above freezing and nights below freezing. And uh, we'll see if it works. It, in theory, everything should be okay. In reality, we'll find out. And lastly, I have a cover on it that I made. It uh, comes off easily, goes on easily. It uh, has some latches on the side to uh, to uh, latch to it, a little insulation in there. So that'll keep everything nice and dry uh, out of the elements and raring to go.